Hello there ladies and gentlemen, Sigal Grim here and welcome back to another video where we're going to take a look at some of my last fights in On Ice Soul Raids because that's gone by now and soon we'll get the advent of chaos and I haven't seen that in a while so I can't say I'm too mad about it maybe finally since my luck has been turning around lately we might get some free raven shards though that is indeed wishful thinking but yeah, we're going to open up this one with a Raven League of Archie fight here. Pretty straightforward. And uh, we have kind of full uh, on ice artifacts in here because I wanted to get the peak performance damage and absolutely demolish Harley. And we did uh, definitely achieve that, but uh, with a little bit of a twist. So yeah, Harley special two in there. Trap three times, swipe right, tap two times, swipe right. And that is her dead in the full combo. And it is indeed. Yo boy, unusual gameplay. Bro, this is the most retarded feature in Injustice 2 Mobile. This is the thing that pisses me off the most. Because this thing is made in order to make sure that people don't use god mode and deal crazy damage. But it's so bad that it's a system, it's not like something that will detect if the hack is there. It's a system that's like, oh, if they deal a lot of damage, then it, it must be god mode because you can't deal that much damage. And it's a system that has been here for a long time before the introduction of Raven, before the introduction of Beta Club. So nowadays it's a shit system because you can already get maybe even more damage than the people using god mode get if you use the right teams and the right artifacts at certain points so right now it's it's the most frustrating and stupid system out there my dudes can't you have something like that detects the hack without just looking at oh big damage he must be using god mode because boy and the the irony of all of this is that i can avoid unusual gameplay like all i need to do is to uh wait until there's only one minute or less on the clock and make sure one of my character dies and that's not a hard thing to do and that's most likely what people who are using god mode actually are doing every single fight but uh, do i have to randomly guess in which fights this will happen or do i have to do it myself every single fight because that would be pretty damn annoying and i'm not down to do that but yeah now that we got that little bit of a rant out of the way let's keep going with this thing we have ben who laughs in here he got his percentage health damage out of the way already and right now we're going to keep going with Deathstroke so what I'm trying to do here is make sure I get all his percentage health damages out of the way and that was a little bit of a mistake there uh, like uh, tagging bed not laughs in for more power steal should have just let her do super move because there was only one special two left and it doesn't really matter that much in which order you do them if you do all the base Deathstroke special uh, uh, two's first or uh, uh, you also get some clones in and at the end of the, the fight you get that done so yeah a little bit of a mistake there that will cost me some time but yeah right we're here to use the super move to extend duration of the fight are using a special um, two in there I, I guess that's our special two special one there with the cookie uh, actually cupcake some of you point out in my previous videos that that's a cupcake and I, I do definitely agree but it's at the same time a cookie if you think about it uh, so yeah, she's finally I think going for super move. There we go. There we go. Thank you very much Took you long enough to kill me. But yeah, let's get to it One special two from the clone bring each the combo there and our special two from the clone She did the ranged attack so we're going to gap close a bit and our special two Okay, I don't like that cookie being there. This is this is quite annoying for the clone She needs to get close my dude. Come on. Look at her! This is why Harley characters are some of the most annoying characters to fight. Because of those cupcakes that they live on the ground and you have two choices. You can either back off and wait for that to expire. And in the meantime she might put up another one. Or the other option is to just go through it and have either your abilities disabled or have your power drained. So yeah, a little bit of a lackluster clone uh, performance here because we uh, only what got one of them in there. And most likely that didn't even get uh, its full course. But this fight should have never happened here. This should have been dead already. So yeah, getting real quick through a Batman Ninja fight, we're going to clean this up. We have Beta Cub on the Batman Ninja team and as usual we have the... Uh, Passive stats from the artifacts that we had in previous videos as well, like the level 5 uh, Nora Snow Globe and the level uh, 2 uh, Thermal Gloves. Special tree in there, re the combo, come on, chopped again, another special tree. 
She, she's easy to combo and drop the for two hits. One of the easiest characters in the game to combo and drop the for two hits. It, one of the few characters that actually don't try hard with the Batman team to combo and chopped after one hit because I honestly feel more comfortable in most scenarios to do it after one hit, even if the characters are supposed to be after two hits. But she's she's just too easy. And yeah, seeing that just as I fail that and get chain stunned, it's it's not a good look, that's all I'm gonna say. But we're gonna be fine, there's not much health on her. And uh, yeah, there goes Harley. Took two more fights than she should have. And we got Beta Club there and an Unbreakable Cyborg. As I said, I, I do not care one bit about the Beta Club myself, because I, I got all of them maxed out. But I guess somebody that got that, that didn't have the bait, the the All Blades. Why am I saying Beta Club? Boy, it would have been amazing if I got Beta Club there. But yeah, anybody that would have gotten the All Blades would have been... Um, uh, like grateful there that didn't have it so I'm not gonna be too ungrateful about that boy Im imagine people because that reward showed for like one second or half a second when they heard me say beta club they, they like rewinded to be like bro what the fuck but yeah sorry for that one my dudes so yeah here it's uh, going to be like a show on three times speed because it's not much to talk about the Harley theme it's going to be chain stunts into damage on dark metal cards but this is going to be kind of my peak performance benchmark for the League of Anarchy team for the on ice soul rates this is as far as they go because i played this well nothing went terribly wrong it's a fight that's standable it simply doesn't get better than this for on ice soul rates and yeah the outcome is not too bad actually 685 mil now for the swamp thing fight so this guy disables the special too, it's not gonna be a bother for the uh, Raven plus Kimflant Sakomen team one bit. I mean look, we could have stacked up the uh, Kimflant Sakomen passive a little bit faster if we didn't have that special two disabled. But that's kind of the least of our problems and it doesn't matter. I'm just going with full darkness stacking before tagging King, we have Beta Club at level 8 on King, we have uh, the uh, Snow Globe and the uh, Thermal Gloves. And there are two characters, and this fight was weird because at a lot of times uh, it, it didn't work uh, well to do jump attacks from blocking the first hit. I don't know why, but we're going to manage, we're going to pull through. S jump attack in there, special 3. Raven back in there, special 1. Kimflant Sakomen uh, will uh, soon enough get back in there, I'm trying to build up some uh, energy for his special 3 because as I said we don't have access to special 2s. That's gonna suck a bit, special 1 in there again to reset the darkness and generate some power. King in there, jump attack, special 3. Raven back in there. Special 1. King back in there, jump attack, special 3, 30 mil dot damage, we're already, already going to a pretty nice area of damage. But boy, remember what I said about unusual gameplay, this is a team that I know for a fact I'll get unusual gameplay unless I do some certain things. So now we're going to let uh, good old Swamp Thing kill my Kimflant Sakomen because this is the actual optimal gameplay guys, like no joke because of the shitty systems that they have implemented into the game to prevent people from hacking, I, I guess. Uh, we're going to literally have to do this every single time we use Raven plus Kimflant Sakomen. Peak performance gameplay might I add, boy. Boy, this, this, this sucks. And we got the Raven Super moving there to kind of sort that fight out. Now we're going to uh, do the Deathstroke uh, button left steam on Vixen and try to get her as damaged as possible or uh, afterwards to do a little bit of a cleanup. And uh, Benoit Left's had a lot of trouble chaining his special one into a swipe against this fight. I don't know what's the deal, but like every single time she actually blocked that. Or almost every single time. Look again and even did a hit on the air. The, the controls don't, don't respond well anymore from any Joker character chain from a special. Okay, we're going to come and chop her in the corner here. Come and chop again. Come and chop again. And do a super move here to make sure that we get all the percentage health damages out of the way. In the ad, they are out of the way, there was none left actually. But yet again, it's always worth doing the super move after you get out of your first final form just to vibe check that, especially if you're using this team, because Destro can build power for himself. This man has absolutely no trouble building up power for himself, so you're not gonna miss that energy. Better safe than sorry. Another special two in there. Kamui Chopping, actually, not Kamui Chopping, I'm uh, yet again uh, stealing some energy from her to. Uh, 
make sure that she gets supermove available to try and kill us after we have gotten all the percentage shell damage out of the way. Or more of it at the very least. Not a special two in there. Okay, we're going to tank super move. Oh boy, this is this is gonna take a while, my dudes. That did not go well. That did not go as planned. And that special two was actually the last percentage health damage special two of this stroke. So uh, yeah, I'm not sure it was worth healing myself all the way to that point. But come on, Vixen, you can do it. We have faith in you. You can you can actually kill a character. You get yourself a power boost. So that's great. You're going to generate power faster. Oh no, that's already gone. Please use the special two at the very least. Oh boy, we're in luck, she's going for a special tree. There we go, almost killed me, nice, well done, well done. And, uh, yeah, perfect, perfect tagging from the for the clone. I mean, not really perfect, because ideally we want him to be as close to the uh, right corner as possible, but uh, it, it's gonna do, it's gonna be fine. Now a special two in there. It's just pushing her further and further, she does lots of swipe attacks towards me and that's great because the, the AI doesn't use special softer swipe attacks. The AI messed up a bit there, my bad, my bad. But uh, nevertheless we're going to re-engage the combo. Another special 2 in there, re-engage the combo yet again. Into another special 2. Combo and chop there. We pinned her to a corner so... Um, uh, it's it's going to be far easier from here, though we're gonna heavily struggle with power generation though And I don't think the second clone is actually going to make an appearance here Or is it? Yeah, it actually is because I figured that I might get uh, a little bit more energy from tagging this stroke back in But he takes too much to die actually so maybe staying with that clone would have uh, allowed me to do one additional special two compared to how many I've done in this uh, uh, but yeah, it is what it is. Clone back in there, special two, and that's gonna be about it for this one. Just, just don't find the time to do all the percentage shell damage out of the way, just because they don't deal damage to me to kill me fast enough. Boy, talk about uh, first four problems here. Okay, so look. This was in my last three fights. Usually you don't want to use this thing. Because if you use the Batman Ninja Team and the uh, Brainiac with whatever else you want to use them separately, then you're going to overall get far more damage. But if you have a limited amount of fights, actually, this is the only team in my roster except for Raven plus something else that can actually one-shot this high health uh, of a fight. And yeah, nowadays we have Mr. Freeze. Mr. Freeze is definitely a thing. And Mr. Freeze can deal some pounding and one-shot stuff easily with Brainiac, but you need to have a little bit of a higher side rating Mr. Freeze. My Mr. Freeze at 3 stars has gotten me at peak performance, I think uh, around uh, 600 to, uh, 500 to 600 mil damage. And that's, that's definitely not something to laugh at and it's definitely using him separately and the Batman Jet team separately. But when there's just three fights available, we might as well go for peak performance here and get uh, out of the way the thing that can deal the most damage. Uh, so what's the idea of this team? So we have the Beta Club on uh, uh, Grodd here and uh, he's going to have the Lethal from uh, Brainiac. And on top of that, he's going to stack the Lethal from the... Uh, Batman Ninja Robin passive, so overall he's going to have uh, a huge, a humongous amount of lethal attack damage. And that's going to result in some pretty good beta club dot values. I'm doing the infinite combo currently, but I might swap to normal combo interruption. Because I feel like by doing the infinite combo we're actually doing less hits. And it's quite safe to do the combo interruption here with Grodd, because if anything happens and we fail it, we can just shield it away. And yeah, the dot values are kind of increasing because we, we hit more often and we stack more little tag damage. We could have done super move, that would have definitely helped with the damage. But at the same time that would have dislodged us from the corner and we, we don't really want that. It's it's good here, I want to sit here for, for a while, most likely until the fight ends. But yeah, all that being said, those were my last pips for the own ISO raids. We'll be back for Advent of Chaos, thank you so much for watching, if you enjoyed this video make sure you like. Uh, it's dislike it if you dislike it subscribe for more content like this Let me know down below what you think about this team and I'll hopefully see you all in the next one. Goodbye This is the future